Hi, I'm Mark Green and this is my co-worker Sander Romers. Today we want to talk to you about the Novatool Pun-M Mobile Finger Punch and demonstrate some of its features and benefits. This portable yet durable mobile finger punch is designed to punch fingers on the ends of lightweight thermoplastic conveyor belts as a preparation tool for making straight finger or finger over finger splices. The Pun-M is 100% manually operated not requiring any electricity or air pressure for operation. The punching force of up to 11,000 pounds is easily achieved by simply pulling on the C-frame punch lever. Because of its easy setup and manual operation, the Pun-M is an ideal tool for punching fingers in the field as well as in the belt shop. Let's get started. Let's make sure that the punch is set up to punch the finger dimensions required for the job by reviewing the punch block and the punch board. For the punch block, first loosen the fixation screw on the C-frame wedge until you're able to slide it out. Ensuring the tray is in the forward position, twist the C-frame away from the support table to remove. The punch block can be positioned two ways, vertically for longer fingers and horizontally for shorter fingers. Loosen the two set screws that are holding the punch block in the current horizontal position. Slide the punch block off the two spring pins and remove the two set screws, replacing them so they can lock the punch block in the vertical position. Insert the two spring pins into the guide holes of the punch block, securing it in place with the two set screws. Next, change out the punch board to the desired finger geometry by unscrewing the four hex bolts. Because we position the punch block in the vertical position, we can install a punch board with longer fingers. At the rear of the punch frame, there are tabs to store a punch board. The punch board gets secured to the punch board tray with the four hex bolts. Reinstall the C-frame. To secure the C-frame, reinstall the C-frame wedge and turn the fixation screw clockwise. First, we'll show you how to punch straight 80 by 20 fingers. Confirm the punch board tray is locked in either the forward or back position. Insert the belt with the top cover up flush against the backstop of the punch board tray. Align the left edge of the belt with the top of the V pattern or peak. Twist back the clamp bar to clamp the belt in position. Adjust punching force for the belt material by turning the fixation screw clockwise until you begin feeling resistance on the C-frame lever. Place one hand on the rear frame for support, using your other hand to operate the lever to punch the belt. For safety reasons, don't place your hand on the clamp bar as it becomes a pinch point when operating the C-frame lever. Start by punching the belt in the center and then at both ends. The blades engage the belt so that there isn't belt slippage. Then punch the remainder of the belt. Remove the excess belt, 
twist the belt clamp forward to unclamp and remove the belt. Insert the opposite belt end with cover side up, flush against the back edge of the punch board. Align the right edge of the belt with the bottom of the V pattern or the valley and lock the belt in place. Repeat the punching process starting at the center of the belt. Once completed, remove the excess, then unclamp and remove the belt. Both belt ends are now prepared for the splicing operation. Now I want to show you how to punch a bias finger. There are three tasks to complete when preparing to punch a bias finger. One, ensure the punch block is in the vertical position. Two, ensure the correct punch board is installed. For this demonstration, we will be using the 80 by 20 5 to 1 bias board. And three, prepare both belt ends by cutting the belt ends on a 5 to 1 bias. Insert the first belt end, cover side up, flush against the back edge of the punch board tray. Align the left belt edge with the top of the V or peak and clamp the belt in place. Start by punching the belt in the center and then at both ends. Complete by punching the remainder of the belt. Remove the excess and unclamp and remove the belt from the unit. Insert the opposite belt end, cover side up, flush against the back edge of the punch board support tray, aligning the right belt edge with the bottom of the V or valley. Clamp the belt into place. Start by punching the belt in the center and then at the ends. Complete by punching the remainder of the belt. Remove the excess and unclamp and remove the belt from the unit. Both ends of the belt are now prepared for the splicing operation.